Hi Owen. Are you okay after the earthquake the other day? Hi Laura. It was a bit scary, the way everything was moving, but I'm okay. And there was no damage to the house. That's great to hear. Houses are built to withstand earthquakes, and other natural hazards nowadays. Natural hazards? Yes. There are natural processes on our planet, that can cause big problems for us humans, if we don't deal with them. They can cause injury, and destruction. Can we stop these processes? No, unfortunately we can't. These processes are natural, even if they are very scary. But we can do something, to deal with the hazards that are connected to them. What kinds of natural processes cause these hazards? Earthquakes are one such process. Then, there are floods, tsunamis, volcano eruptions. I heard about this volcano eruption in Iceland, a few years ago. Exactly. Volcano eruptions can happen in many places around the world. They can be very dangerous, if the people who live nearby don't take appropriate measures. When a volcano erupts, big clouds of ash and poisonous gases, cover the sky. Burning lava flows down the volcano's side. If there are houses and people nearby, the lava can cause damage and injury. What measures can those people take? One solution is to build observatories near the volcano and monitor its activity. They are very expensive to build, but they can give advance warning that an eruption might happen. This way, people that live close to the volcano can leave the area before that happens. To deal with the ash and poisonous gases, the best solution is to evacuate the area. If that's not possible though, one way to deal with this hazard is to wear a mask. And what about the lava, that flows down the side of the volcano? Some people have built channels for the lava to flow in, and away from the houses. So, there are things we can do to deal with these hazards? Absolutely. And people come up with new ideas on how to deal with them all the time. Remember, Owen. These processes are natural, and they happen all the time somewhere on Earth. They can be dangerous to us humans though, so we have invented solutions to deal with them. And if our solutions aren't perfect, we keep improving them until they are. Now I feel better about earthquakes. Yes. We have come a long way when it comes to keeping safe from earthquakes, from building safer houses, to monitoring the Earth's activity. But maybe we can find an even better solution in the future. Who knows? Maybe it will be you, who finds that solution. Maybe. I'll start looking into it right away. Sounds good, Owen. Have fun exploring.